Hello everyone, this is Crystal from We Are Magic and this is your collective reading for the week of February 13th through February 19th. I'll be doing weeklies for the collective, monthlies for each sign, and of course, little um, power affirmations throughout the day, okay? Or throughout daily, because I post those on TikTok. All right, let's see, spirit. What messages do you have for the collective? What advice, guidance do you have for February 13th through February 19th? Remember, time is fluid, so whenever you see this, it's for you, okay? Don't think because, you know, it's dated that it's for a specific thing. Mm. <sighs> They're still pushing this. Now, you see me shuffle these cards, okay? They're not letting up on the health goals. They're just not, they're not going to stop. They're not going to stop until we're healthier. Okay. Where am I with my health goals? Where do I want to be? Why am I not there? What will it take for me to feel well? I, I'm annoyed with it too, because I didn't work out this morning and spirits like, I said what I said. All right. If my body could talk, it would say, my, my body would say it's tired. It's 46 years old. It needs to get in shape. I need to eat better, you know, stuff like that. Uh, your soul action for this week. Feed your body what it needs to feel nourished, Crystal. Appreciate it and loved. Make some new exciting goals to take your health to the next level. That is true. I love working out. I love strength training. But the best exercise that resonates with me is kickboxing. Remember back in the day, you millennials will remember. Gen Z, maybe not so much. Tybo with Billy Blanks, that was my shit. That was the most fittest I've ever been in my entire life. And I just need more workouts like that. So I have a, I downloaded an app and it has it on there, but it doesn't have to kick boxing. It just has boxing. So I'm like, whack. But anyway, I'll figure it out. Okay, let's see what the Moonology has for us for that week. Spirit, February 13th through February 19th. What advice do you have for the collective? That what, Are we even going to have a tarot reading? A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. And what do you need to release? Waning moon. All right. So what I feel is for some of us, we are having a problem moving on from a heartbreak. Tell me I'm wrong. And um, Spirit is letting you know that it is time to release that pain and that hurt, okay? So the next waning moon, do a little prayer, ritual, whatever you're comfortable with, to where you are setting the intention that that negative energy is being released. It's going away, okay? All right, let's pull some tarot. So we're working on our health, and now they are working on our love or our heart, so... Interesting. Let's we'll see what tarot has. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> I know spirit. I'll, I will work out. Okay. I have to work today. All right. Spirit. Angels. Whoop. Well, it's already coming out. So let's go. Angel, spirit guide, ancestors. What messages do you have for the collective? Let's go. Okay. So seven of wands is our current energy standing up for ourselves, um, being bold, standing up for your beliefs. Seven of wands is just like taking your power back and say, I said what I said, right? Foundation, the lovers, you are fighting the, well, it could be a choice. It means choice too. Gemini energy. And you have a full moon of Gemini with the answers are coming. Remember that. Embrace true love and deep, intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart. Vibrant health. Vibrant health. <laughs> or cover from recovering from an illness. So yeah, they really are telling you choose to take care of yourself and quit fighting us about it. Okay. Oh, what's crowning our energy though? What we're thinking about? Look, disappointment. Three of, three of swords. Here it is. Our favorite card. So again... Spirit just confirmed that, you know, yeah, we are definitely thinking about past hurts and things like that. What's benefiting us, Spirit, for this week, please? We need help. Obviously, you want us to work out. Obviously, you want us to let go of the hurt and the pain. What other? Okay. 
Ace of Pentacles, new opportunities, new money, new money, stability, growth, all the things, right? A windfall of abundance, wise counsel, a good fortune, exciting career opportunity. Okay, some of y'all applying for new jobs out there, I hear you. Um, a lucrative contract. Significant purchases like a home or a vehicle. That's what's benefiting us now. Psh, what's the outcome then? <laughs> Seven of Swords. <laughs> I gotta clarify these real quick. Seven of Swords. A loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Take caution and be aware of others' actions. A material loss. Make sure you're being honest with yourself. Embarrassing secrets. Okay. I'm feeling that we need to be honest with ourselves. And I feel like this, if you feel there is, which is why we are defending ourselves. Um, if you feel you are under attack, because what's benefiting you is new abundance, new opportunity, new stability, new growth. If you feel you are under attack, instead of you being these people back here in the background and getting played, you be that person. Swords is thoughts, okay? It's not actually um, something material, it's thoughts, okay? Even with the three of swords, it's thoughts, it's in our head because your brain affects everything, right? So if you feel you're being played or someone's strategizing against you, how about you be the strategist? How about you flip the script, okay? I call the seven of swords and the five of swords my fuckery cards. Yes, I say bad words, God. They're not bad, it's words. Fuckery cards, um, you are in control of your life. If you feel, if you have that inner guidance, if you know deep down why you're in this position of defending yourself, yeah, you have every right to feel that way. So watch your back. Let's flip them over. And, okay, so seven of wands is clarified by the 10 of cups. So you're defending your home, you're defending what you're happy about. The seven of cups is emotional fulfillment. It's the, it is the happy card. It's a happy home, it's a happy family, happy marriage. You're just happy in your personal life, right? Um, people you can trust, um, loving relationship, love, loving children, just, it's the Powerball of emotional fulfillment. I usually call it a nine of cups, the wish, cause it's called the wish fulfillment card, but the 10 is the, the ending. It's like, I have made it, right? So you're defending that. You're like, I'm happy where I'm at. I'm happy single, or I'm happy in my family, okay? It's a collective reading, so you're gonna take what resonates, guys. Um, foundation, oh God, this is resonating. I just got hot. Foundation clarification for the lovers is the chariot forward movement. You gotta move on, honey. You've got to move on. Um, making choices from the heart is this forward movement. So you've had a hard time and you're moving forward, okay? You've had, um, and that's the thing, it's, with this card, it says it's rewards from hard work. And you have worked hard. You did not give up, right? Successfully balancing many priorities at once, determination and willpower and public recognition. Boo, you may be getting a raise, which makes sense why you got the ace of pentacles here. But yeah, forward movement, moving on, that is Cancerian energy. Clarifying our three of swords is the ten of swords. It's over. Stop beating the dead horse. You... And I'm not attacking you because I've been doing the same thing for about two years. Um, replaying the hurt over and over and up does nothing but it will throw you into a dark night of the soul. It will be the worst. The dark night of the soul is like the worst spiritual depression you could possibly go through. It's like when you feel like everything in your life is going to shit. Nothing's working out. You know what I mean, right? So the end of a situation that brings relief, sadness, or both. So... See that pain as a lesson, all right? Appreciate the good times. Thank goodness you're out of the bad, all right? Clarifying the Ace of Pentacles, my God, is <laughs> the Ace of Wands, an amazing opportunity. So yeah, Spirit knows that you've done the work and that you have been through hell and now it is time for you to reap the benefits, right? An amazing opportunity, be bold and courageous and optimistic. Now is the time to take action. Again, the answers you need are coming and what do you need to release? You're releasing this, what you're thinking about. The three of swords, the heartbreak, okay? You see how that angel is telling her, honey, it's guardian, it's time to move on. It's time to move on from it, okay? 
And then clarifying the Seven of Swords, um, the Watch Your Back card is also the Wise Counselor. So this is Taurus energy and this is just listening to your higher mind. This is you taking my advice. This is taking your higher self's advice. This is really um, going within spiritually or religiously, however you believe, and taking the steps to better your life, right? So um, ask for divine help. Trust that the answers will come because a new romantic cycle is beginning. And that's what So Cool House says, answers, let me show you, trust the answers will come. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see that. And then it's clarifying, basically saying the answers you need are coming. You see what I'm saying? Spirit, I love spirit. Spirit just always comes with the stuff, okay? And then overall energy, um, decisive, focused, driven, and defensive. Yes, you are. And this is Gemini energy, nine of swords. So yeah, you are really about the shit. So you're like, you know what? I've came too far to be played. I'm not gonna go through it. And I refuse to go through it. So good for you, boo-boos. All right, lovies, that is your reading for the week. I uh, hope it resonates. <laughs> I'll be doing more of these. Take care of yourself. And remember, we are magic and we are one. Bye.